Today on Destroyer 1320, we're going to be installing an exhaust system from AWE on my wife's Dodge Durango RT. Here is how the AWE exhaust comes to you in this beautiful big old box. Highly recommend using two people to move this around. It's quite heavy, but it has nice handles on it. Very easy to, to move around. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got in the kit. So here's the contents in the box. You can see here it's got the little H pipe going. That'll connect up to our factory flanges at the front. Got the hangers already welded on there. Comes back to these, uh, let's see, they're 180 degree technology by AWE. And from what I read up, me not having ever installed or owned an AWE system, the 180 degree technology stops from having the drone. Anybody who has had a Flowmaster system understands, uh, yeah, that drone could drive you out of the car. So it'll be interesting to see how that technology works. So there's the main exhaust system and then they were nice enough to give me the black tips. These are absolutely beautiful. Oh yeah, that's going to look way better than a factory. Oh, look at this. Oh, check this out. Come on now, are you kidding me? That's awesome. Also comes with this kit. Right there, you can use that to tighten these up and move them, adjust them. It's got the little clamps on there. Okay. Well, let's uh, get this thing rolling. Boy, a lot of packing material. Okay, so here's the hardware package that comes with it. Here's one. Here's some other little things with set screws. Not quite sure what all those do, but if we look here. Oh, the easy way. Got a QR code. We can just snag that and go find out exactly how to install it. So that's going to be very, very helpful because I am doing this alone today in my garage just to show that, you know, anybody can get this system if you have a couple tools and some time and put this in yourself. So let's get going. Let's see what the stock exhaust sounds like. So today we're going to start off by finding the proper wrench size. This is a 13 millimeter. I went with the ratchet end to make it a little easier for me. We're going to remove the two bolts holding this side on and the two bolts over here. Get those removed and then I'm going to support the back of this. You can see there's a, a little clamp at the front there that's holding on that little extension piece that has the springs on it. So don't touch that. We're just going to remove these two that have the springs on it. We're going to support the exhaust so it doesn't fall. And then we're going to start locating our hangers. So once we get this loose, we can go ahead and shimmy the hangers out. And I'll work our way towards the back. Time to evict the old exhaust. You're out of here, bud. Goodness. Wow, that, that thing actually weighs quite a bit. And you got the big old uh, extrapolator 9000 here, whatever that does, emissions wise. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to take these mounts off so we can reuse them. And uh, yeah, just a little tip. I ended up hacking the back of these off because trying to, oh, well, you just unleash, release this side and then just tilt the exhaust. And yeah, well, I don't even have the car jacked up. Yeah, that's my fault. I get it. But. Uh, you can do it without even lifting the car up. Got the old exhaust off. Let's get rid of this and put that beautiful new AWE exhaust on. Okay, another note. Uh, these are 15 millimeter. These are the exhaust bolts. And then these are 16 millimeter to tighten those. So, so far I need a 13, 15, and a 16 millimeter to install the system. All right, everybody. Coming along good. 
started at the front, put that pipe in, and then just set the long pipe in the back of it. Brought it back here, put in our resonators back here, got the back hanger up there in first, and then put in the one next to it, and then just slid it in place. Look how perfect this thing is bent. My Lanta. AWE, you make one heck of an easy kit to install. And I didn't even jack this truck up. It would have been a lot easier if I jacked it up, but I'm telling you, awesome so far. Leave everything loose and then get your stuff put in place, then tighten down. Yeah, buddy, no leaks. It's in. Boy, that is beautiful. Woo! Well, that's much better, idle sound. Let's take this thing for a test drive and see how it sounds. Okay, first test is with the windows up. We're gonna see uh, what it sounds like. It definitely sounds more like a V8, a lot more meaty. Here we go. See what it sounds like passing someone. better oh man what an improvement awe amazing system holy cow all right next test we'll roll the windows down and see what it sounds like all right windows are down didn't hit kick down but oh it sounds so throaty no drone whatsoever in the cabin. What a beautiful sound. When you let off, this touring system is perfect. You can barely just hear it a little bit. I think my wife's gonna love it. Still, overall thoughts, very easy install, amazing sound. If you're looking to upgrade your stock exhaust and make your vehicle sound just a little more healthy, AWE Touring System for the 2011 through current model Durangos is the way to go in my opinion. But uh, until next time, we will see you later.